from me. In any case, that's not what we're here for. We're here for a brand new map. The map is Rat Race by Palmar. Now, I took one look at it and thought, I don't see what's so difficult here, but apparently Blobber had some difficulties with this map. And at the last moment, I had it described to me as a puzzle map. I hadn't even considered it might be a puzzle map, but let's go and have a look at it, shall we? Uh, when Palomar gives us a map, we're not meant to use the CCK tool. We're meant to go straight into the save game that we are provided. They make some last minute changes to the map in the save file. Makes things easier for custom tuning the map. Now is only the time for Caesar 3. Caesar 3 and then a long play vote, actually. So, what is happening? Oh, before I forget, let's get this out of the way. From now on, until I change my mind again, I am going to be playing with God Effects off whenever I play Caesar 3. The reason is twofold. One, I don't want to have to rely on the crutch of Neptune's blessing anymore, and to a lesser extent, Mars's blessing. Neptune's blessing can trivialize the early game by giving you double money for a year, and you can also get those blessings again if you cheese off the gods and then placate them again. The unfortunate downside to this is the gods will never curse me. However, I'm not too worried about that. It's very rare that I actually get a god curse that means anything. I'd just rather not have the massive crutch of Neptune. And something else that it's going to prevent are god slums. Actually, let me bring up a god slum that I just had. Uh, that was in Edelweiss. So, making... These kind of god slums is ugly to me. When you're just planking down loads of small or even worse large temples just to keep the gods off your back. You don't need them for anything else, it's just to prevent the god curses. And I've never liked that in a city. It is forced whenever a map maker doesn't allow me to do oracles. If you don't have access to oracles you have to god slum. I suppose you could tastefully put them around your city. But you just need so many of them at high population to keep the gods off your back. I don't like it, so we won't be having it. And that's as much reasoning as I need. Hell, it's more than I need. So, god, uh, god things will be off. That means gods will be used for culture if need be, but largely to help our houses grow. I'm fully supportive of this. I hate the god ghettos, says Ninja. <laughs> Not quite an atheist run. Without any god placating, you're stuck to small shacks, which is... Uh, Actually, the worst housing in the game, because it consumes food, gives no taxes, has a low uh, a low housing density, and low prosperity. It is the worst housing in the game. Tents are better, because at least they don't require food. So, Rat Race, what's going on with this map? As is often the case whenever I'm given a city, we have almost no starting denarii. I'm kind of like, come on, I've had enough maps with absolutely no money. It just slows down the start, but... Hey-ho, that's what I'm given, that's what I'm dealing with. So, almost no money. Uh, what do we have available? All water, all health, no large temples and no oracles. Unusual. And I swear I did not put in the, the no god effects because of this map. I put it in before I chose Rat Race. In any case, we're only allowed small temples. Better than only being allowed large temples, but still. Ugh. Uh, no oracles is a real kicker there. Is this Augustus or Julius? I only play Julius. I actually don't like Augustus. It changes more than I bargain for. We have access to all uh, education things, including the mission post, which is strange, right? These are the only people that we could reasonably put a mission post for, and we could fit one in, but I'm not convinced there's actual access to this island. This is something Palmar likes to do with his maps, is... Oh, 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 oh. Hang on, I might be a little too hasty. I think... I... oh, this is, this might be a certain cruelty. I think you can reach here. If you put up a mission post here and had them walk along here and along here and right to there, you might be able to trade with these people. Okay. Okay, right, well then, perhaps there is a use to that. We better keep that in mind. It'll be a while before we get to here and I'll talk about why in a moment. Seems like we have all entertainment. Oh, we do not have access to the forum again. Another hallmark of a Palmar map. He really, really doesn't like you taxing your plebeians. The only tax ability we have is from a single senate. That's rough. Yeah, oh well, what can you do? Looks like we have access to all engineering buildings. 
we're really gut punched when it comes to military. No walls, no towers. We are given a gatehouse for some reason, but we are beyond using gatehouses for locking in our walkers. Um, hmm, yeah, no military academy, no walls, no towers, uh, no prefects. Ooh, that means if I want to eternalize the city, I won't be able to suck up unemployment prefects. I swear there's other things that I'm missing here. Anyway, we're, we are really crippled when it comes to military, so I have to assume that there is no military on this map, or small military on this map. And let's think about invasion points. This is just crying out to be an entire invasion point here. But at the same time, I'm not sure it would be, because this is the only place you can build on at the start. Otherwise... This is possible, but... Actually, hang on, this is it, isn't it? I saw this on Blobber's map. Blobber got an invasion here that seemed all kinds of weird. Maybe the map has changed since then, but... It's the only reasonable possibility of what I can see. Alright, uh, let's be ready to tear down anything that's here in case we do get attacked from there. But assume that the attacks come from this weird island. Actually, maybe not that weird, because... Yeah, okay, we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, in terms of what we have available, well, it's easier to look at it on this screen. We don't have wheat, which is a shame. Even though on a northern map, wheat grows at the same speed as vegetables, fruit, and pigs, it's still the better thing to create, because market ladies grab 800 wheat at once, but only 600 of the other food. Why they do it that way, I have no idea. But it means that wheat is more efficient for your market ladies uh, walking around. Still, we decide we have access to three kinds of food, so we shouldn't be limited on patricians there. Olives for oil, clay for pottery, no local furniture. Uh, hmm, what else are we missing here on this? Uh, we don't have access to wine. So no wine, no furniture. I feel like it's something... Oh yeah, no wine, no furniture, no wheat. Okay, otherwise it's a fairly generous helping of... Uh, goods that we have here. I found a website where you can download Caesar 3 in Japanese, Chinese, Korean. Says it only works with Julius. Needs a version of Caesar 3 that's been... Hmm? Only works with Julius. Needs a version of Caesar 3 that's been patched to 1.0.1.0. Madness. Still, I'll see if I can get my hands on that panda. <laughs> you can see panda still around for this. So, something that amused me greatly is that Palmar hates the idea of you mining the entry and exit sign. For those not in the know, the entry and exit signs in the game count as rocks, meaning that you can mine them with a marble quarry or an iron mine. Now, they've been... I don't like to do that, so I don't do that. Still, uh, Palmar really hates it, so they've blocked it off with raised rocks. But, you know, sometimes You've just got to figure out how to work around these sorts of stipulations. And the funny thing is, I could do that, and these things would still function even though they're not next to any rocks. A hilarious exploit, but not one that we're going to use, so let's ignore that entirely. <laughs> I don't know every exploit in this game, but I think I might know every known exploit in this game. Right. How are we going to tackle this? Well, the proof of the pudding is in the eating in this one, and the eating is how you get around here. You actually are limited to this area as you start, and the funny thing about this area is it's completely devoid of resources. There's no trees to cut down for lumber, although we have no access to lumber. There are no rocks to mine, there is no arable land to till. Yeah, there's just nothing going for it. To get off of this, you need one bridge here, and another bridge here, and another other bridge here, or here. That's a big investment, and you're going to need a ship bridge here, because I am certain that the boats are either going to come in from or leave here, because it's a puzzle map. And it's better to assume that than build a low bridge and have to destroy it. So getting off of this bit of land is going to cost us... 2,600... Okay. Yeah, the guts are 3,000 denarii just to get off of this area. We only have 1,000, so if we just started building away, we would very quickly go into ultra debt and Caesar would come and have our guts for garters, so we're stuck here for a while. 
The only resource that we really have is the ability to fish, and we can't do sea trade routes because there is no room to put down a dock. I'm pretty sure that dock wouldn't function. Pretty sure. And there's no space for one here. In an early version of the map, there was actually an ability to bridge over here. I remember seeing that in Blobbers, but uh, no, no such luck. So, what we have to do is build a something regarding an economy here, so that we make enough money to be able to get down here, start using the arable land, and the ability to, yep, do seaboard and trading. Although, I can't put you here because I want to build a trade with you. Not just seaboard, but I can trade with them as well. Not ultra money trade, but still decent trade. Uh, by the way, could I reasonably put that... Oh, I could put that there. Excellent. So I could have a dock here and here, warehouses here, economy, okay. A little bit of living space around here, and then the bulk of my extra people go there and there. Alright, I think I see. I think I see how this can come together. Our only trading option at the beginning is with Toletum. And it costs half of our money to even open up this trade route, but they will buy a mm, morsel of fish off of us. Only 15 units per year. Fish sells for 36, so that's 360 plus half of that, so a little over, a little over 500 or so denarii per year off of that. So one year just to pay off the cost of opening that. Never mind the cost of building all the wharves, the shipyard, but oh god, it's going to be grim. So I'm going to do something that I never normally do, and that is immediately build up taxable plebs. That means I need everybody up to small hobble on the double. So, how are we going to do this? Well, straight away I'm going to need a road that touches on all of these wharves. It's going to need to then wrap around. I need to maximize the amount of space that I have. My half of my plebs here, so a one, two, and then along. Probably have the Senate here or some such. And then up to Daisy. And then, and then, and then, that still doesn't feel like enough space for everything I want. Also, I probably want a granary here. Well, forget probably, I know I want a granary here. We do something like this. One, two, one, two. Oh, hang on, I'm going to need uh, water access, but I can do that there. And here. Okay. Not often I do this, but let's see if we can't make it work. Yeah, half my money's gone already, and uh, even more of it's going to be gone real soon. I don't want people living here, it's incredibly undesirable, so instead we're going to have all our people here. Now, I don't actually care about mergers, uh, because these people don't consume anything other than food, and I don't really care about their impact on prosperity either. So I'm not fishing for mergers for once in my life. I have done something to allow me to fish for mergers easier. But we'll get to that. Hmm, I could put gardens here. Do I have access to plaza? Of course I have access to plaza. So if the need arises, we can make that work. One, two. Yeah, I'm going to want you here. Should I put you down anyway? Not quite yet. Give it time. You guys over here and here and here. And do I even want people here? I think I do, but I need to also have this already accessible because I'm going to want a shipyard here. Sharing about the intersection, but what can you do? What you can do is remember to put down a doctor for your people. Is there any decent place for a doctor? Uh, that's actually quite decent, but it doesn't get everybody. So I think I'll just slam you there. An engineer should be able to do the full loop, so that's a good place for you. And then, is there anything I'm forgetting about? For now, let's not tax anybody. And let's start bringing them in. Hmm. Sei rimasto al verde piuttosto in fretta. Ora cerca di far durare questi fondi un po' di più. Well, Caesar's not done yet, because he's about to realize that... Even with the bailout money, which I swear was nothing, uh, I'm still in debt, so that's pretty bad. Of course it's pretty bad. 
The people keep giving me no money to start a mission with. You're practically forced into debt at the very start. I mean, I get it. Extra challenge, yay, but... It's a city builder. I'm trying to build a city. Oh, well. I'm sure my complaints fall on empty ears. Right, uh... Matter of priority is getting our shipbuilding operation... Well, operational. And then start fishing up. Fishing up a storm. By the way, how am I going to fit the granary in here? I reckon you could go here. That was not what I wanted to do. There we go, go, and there we go, go. Because believe it or not, I do want to feed these people. I'm on a very tight time limit. I got two years to get myself out of debt, and we're about to go into a lot more debt than we're in right now. But as long as we get the people in, we've got something to work with. I'm going to need water, so no point delaying it. There we go. Let's make sure that it actually waters everybody. Yeah, that water everybody, no problem. People are coming in from this way, so I'm just going to slam down extra Lebendram for now. And the uh, the ships are being made, so I'm putting up the wharves so they can go away. And they can get to work filling this up. I'm also going to need a warehouse. There is space there, but maybe I can find a better space. Somewhere a bit more central like this so that everybody can get to it quickly. Where's the fishing point, though? That I want to know first. The seagulls give a rough indication of where it is, but... Okay, it's there, so I want the warehouse closer to this side than the other. Yeah, actually, there doesn't seem too shabby. You're taking the meat for now. We have a lot of unemployment. A lot of jobs could be, well, created, but... There's no point until we have some food going, and I mean quite a bit of food. Once this is filled up, I'm going to slam down marketplaces, and maybe a little bit of godly happiness. I guess I'll get started with the god stuff. Um, who are we going to? Who are we going to placate? Our good man Neptune. Doesn't really matter because there's no god blessings or curses now. And do I want to give them theatre and library coverage? I can't think of a good reason not to at this point. So... Actually, it doesn't really matter at all, does it? I'm struggling to think of a reason why it would matter. Getting up to Casa here wouldn't really do me any real favours. But I do need the jobs filled up anyway, so why don't I just do this regardless. Well, a good reason not to is because it's absurdly expensive, but what can a man do? There we go. Bye-bye money. It's okay. I'm sure we can tax all of our problems away. We need to build it eventually. Why not just build it now? One, two. One, two. One, two. I guess that'll do. The, uh, it just shows off all the hideous amounts of unemployment that we have as well. Curiously, are you going to merge if I do this to you? Oh, never mind that. Uh, I thought those were two individual tents, but they weren't. This one's part of an existing 2x2, two two, so away it goes. Well, not to worry. Glad to see the fish pouring on in. Uh, it's been almost a year. Caesar is about to completely flip his lid. Better give him a gift already. No, let's let's save that for later, just in case I completely cheese him off down to ten favor. Come on, guys, get fishing faster. I need this fish yesterday. Right, looks like we've got all these set up. I need to figure about watering my peons right now. And I'll slam down you, you, 
this actually fills out quite well. You and you. I'd rather do you though. I will do you. Let's see if anybody doesn't become large tent. These guys hate the desirability of where they are, but uh, this will have to do for now. I need marketplaces, quite a few of them, truth be told. Some even back here. So I'm going to have you two here, have you there, and probably another one here. I would like another one around here, but this will have to do. They're going to start loading up on fish and feeding our people, and we should be able to get them up to uh, anything between small hobble and small casa, and then it's tax o'clock. And it's really tax o'clock. Uh, it's October. I actually want to start selling this XX fish immediately. So I'm going to open this trade route and set my meat to exports. Then Lucky should spawn with his donkeys and come and buy it all up. Congratulations, you're the top Caesar 3 player on Twitch. I would hope so. Oh. Yeah, Lucky's just saying how I'm feeling there, and he's buying up all of the excess fish, which is good, and now we're getting people hopefully up to... Well, I need them up to hobble level, even if it costs me extra in gardens. That's good. Now with that... I've got to do something that they're not going to like, and that is ultra tax them and pay them a good bit above Rome. That part they'll actually like, at least. And I'm also going to have to start uh, start getting rid of the unemployment. Fortunately, that's not too hard to do. What? Oh, well, that is actually fine because you already made me all of the. Uh, the fishing wars, so I can actually get rid of this road for now and just laugh at the fact that that is gone. Ha! Ah. Missed a little bit of the watering here. Only a little, and I can supplement this by putting a fountain here. Some of these people are unhappy with how undesirable it is, so I'm going to do this. What's your problem? They really hate how undesirable the, the area is. I don't have all the money in the world for those. Excuse the spluttering there. I don't have all the money in the world for endless amounts of statues, so I'll have to put statues on a bigger range. I'll let have a range four. Granted, Plaza only has range two. Right, so people are unhappy because of my tax policy. Understandable. So I'm going to cane taxes for a little bit just to make people happier again. And then I need to start um, doing ultra. Oh boy, I'm not sure I can dig myself out of debt with taxation at this point. Especially if people are already unhappy at me and I need to... Oh well, we'll see what see what can be done. surprised at how undesirable some of this area is. Perhaps I shouldn't be that surprised. Okay, I might have pained myself by going for the taxation route instead of the exports only route because of the getting too expensive. Right, even so, I'm gonna do this. Uh, how many of these do I actually need anyway? No, hell, let's just build some and then, uh, and then decide. So I'm doing this to soak up unemployment. 68. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There we go. Unemployment is now at 4%, so I should be able to ultra tax again. People are indifferent. Indifferent sounds like they will pay me taxes. It's a shame that you're so undesirable there. I'm trying to do what I can do. I should have given myself an extra bit of space at the back here for um, for gardens, but I did not. 
squeeze in a bit so everybody's paying their taxes. So the, the point is, I need to get people up to... Um, there we go. I need to get people up to... Small hobbles at least, because below small hobbles they pay zero taxes on very hard mode. However, once they hit uh, hobble level, they will actually pay taxes, even though. Det här huset betalar verkligen så lite skatt att det slås i med min tid. Even though it's so little, yes, people can revolt from too high taxes, but that is why I'm keeping unemployment low and failing at it because of evolutions here. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There we go. Unemployment 4% or lower gives a boost to the happiness. People are annoyed with me. How about a, how about a small festival to cheer everybody up? It's only 61 denarii to do so. Yeah, there you go. People can be annoyed as all, uh, all they want as long as they're not rioting. There we go. So now they're paying me glorious taxes, but it's really not going to be enough. It cost way too much money to get to this point. Damn. Okay, I am 99% certain that this is going to be a restart. Because each month we're making how much money? Uh, are we making money? <laughs> wow, okay, wages are so high. Taxes are not really covering it so well, even at max level. Okay, this is a failure for sure. What a defeatist attitude. What happened to you, man? I know the game so well that I can already see victory or defeat before it even arrives. Yeah, the, the expenditure on this stuff is too heavy. I don't have the military makings to beat off Caesar. It's just going to be untrained units, and I can't even have weapons for them, so it would be javelins, and there's no space to fight them either. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, I can't even do anything, because I'm out of credit. I'm about to lose horribly. So, the master has fallen. Well, it is a puzzle map, and I just got the puzzle wrong. Oh, god, there's landslides as well. They really do. They really do well with angry Italian Caesar. Right. Well, Caesar gets to reclaim what little city there is. But what did he expect? He gave me a thousand denarii. So, what have I learned from this? That uh, to succeed here, you just have to do exports with a little slum city. I wanted to avoid doing that, but it seems somewhat unavoidable. I don't think subsidizing taxes is going to get you out of this little hole. There is something to be said for immediately uh, spending all the money to... What was that? Oh. Looks like you're on a three-year timer. Oh, really? Wow, fish don't even become worth the cost of fishing after three years. Huh. Well, now... Wellity well now. Good to see you try something new in this 20... Well, th this approach isn't a new approach, it's a very old one. But it went worse on this map than I could have expected. Yeah, landslides are random. They can just happen one after another and prevent you from doing land trade. Frankly, I, I don't think I like any of the random events in the game, apart from Rome pays more wages. Because it's just... Uh, it has no meaningful effect on your play. People are getting unhappy because now they get paid less than in Rome. Let's just embrace the ultra debt and die to it. Okay. And Rome wants uh, fish as well. I don't suppose you've increased your quotas for fish, have you? No, wow, okay. So the, the start of this is incredibly punishing financially. It's been so long since someone gave me a map where you just start with money and freedom to get building. 
I'm so sick of building slums at the start of my cities, but when you get given, you know, 2,000 or less denarii at the start, your options are severely limited for that. Are those ships floating boats? I don't know, a boat's a boat, right? Uh, excuse me? Okay, so after however many years that is, fish become worthless. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> fish, <laughs> fish don't cost anything, Caesar. Just get your own. Enemies at the door as well. Though I don't think we're going to see them before Caesar arrives. Where is Caesar? He's taking a sweet time in arriving. Someone needs to say. So I think the lowest denarii I've ever started a map with is something like 600, and I think that was on Ever Smile. Okay, so they they do attack from here, and that's an interesting part of this puzzle map because you don't get immigrants if there is an attack. So that forces you to build across to here, and have a military to dispatch them, or else your city won't be able to grow. That's not strictly true. You can still grow from births, but you don't want to grow from births. Then you're going to end up with a lot of babies who take their sweet time joining the workforce. What is up with Caesar? He's just not attacking me. <laughs> what is it? Something to do with the weird entry and exit setup here. For one, look at what's happening to the donkeys. Oh, maybe they're trying to spawn but they can't because of the attack? No, no, they're they're spawning and immediately leaving because they don't have a warehouse to go to. That's what's oh, we get. Oh, okay. So trading with the natives is out of the question as well. Ah, oh, Jesus. I'm really starting to wonder where Caesar is, though. It's snowing right now, best snow we've had in a while. Yeah, yeah, it really is the long dark out there. Lows of minus 15 today, and snowing all day, and it's good snow. I was out walking around in it earlier. Have you looped back around to being able to build again? No, I wouldn't be able to build because I have no, no money. I don't know how high or low this number goes before it loops over. But we wouldn't have time, because this map is on a time limit as well. Right, I don't know why Caesar isn't showing up. Oh, that's right, I can't even delete my city. Right, I can have riots to, uh, to destroy my city. So let's have... No wages, ultra taxes... Until our people get so annoyed that they riot. Zero prosperity because I wasn't making money. You do actually need to make a profit to get prosperity up. Sono molto irritato. Nonostante tutti i fondi che ho investito nella tua città e la generosità di credito da parte del Senato, tu mi hai deluso. La tua città non ha restituito il denaro prestato. La mia fiducia in te fu mal riposta e io sono costretto a trovare un altro governatore al posto tuo. Forse potrà andarti meglio nel nuovo ruolo che ho in mente per te. Astasis of pools, no punches. Let's get back to it then. So, what went terribly wrong there? I should not have gone for taxes. This is not enough money to go for a tax approach. What can I do then? Now that I know that fish becomes worthless so quickly, it doesn't seem even worth the cost of setting up the trade route or the industry. I think 
I need to go into ultra debt from the very start and sell something far more lucrative. What is the most lucrative thing we have access to? Well, Rome would buy oil and marble. Lots of oil and a decent amount of marble, but it costs 3,000 denarii to set up that trade route. I don't really have 3,000 denarii going spare, I have 1,000. Go for small island, maybe. I don't know what you mean by small island. Unless you mean these guys, they'll certainly buy a lot of my goods and I could get to them quite quickly. If debt is unavoidable, might as well make it part of the plan. Yeah, but the moment you have 5,000 debt, you can't build anything anymore. So, 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 I really need to think about what I'm selling here. I can't sell wine, unfortunately. Marble, weapons, pottery, oil, that's the good stuff. Two of them will go to Roma, but that price to open up with Roma is intimidating. Um, very intimidating. Caesarea will buy weapons, but Caesarea is very expensive as well. Tin just buys furniture, but I don't have wood. Valencia just buys clay. Wow, wow, these are some god-awful options. Okay, maybe, maybe I can open Toletum, sell olives, meat, and oil. Oh, no, they, they come by land, so it's pretty hard to get that full amount. That's selling, what, 55? 45 goods. 40? 50? Let me think. 25 and 30. Okay, 55 goods by land. That's rough. Mm -hmm. Like I said, this is a this is most definitely a puzzle map. There's a puzzle here to solve. City building skills definitely come a far second. Is it worth importing wood to turn into furniture for export? Who sells me wood? Tilitum sells a lot of wood. Your margins are going to be worse because you have to pay for that. Now, Roma might be the best idea, but can I actually do marble here? Uh, I don't think so. These are raised bits of land, not rocks. In order to mine rock, you'd have to go all the way around to here. And that's a lot of bridge expenditure. So selling marble to Rome is not a hot idea. I mean, how much extra expenditure do we need? Uh, not that much. Well, we need the ship bridge here. Even so, it might might be too much that we can afford. Okay, so if Rome's not on the... Oh, but that also gains weapons. So why do we even care about Caesarea? Well, they sell us more wood to turn into more furniture, at least. Jeez, the options are grim. I think I might just have to max Toletum. Ah, I could sell oil to these guys. So if I have my oil, uh, oil thingamajigger here, and the not oil ones further away, they're going to come and buy oil quite a lot. I'd need a setup where the mission post is as close to you as feasible, and we there is no feasibly close area here, so it has to be put here, walking along there, and then the warehouse right here. Okay, so that's how it is going to be. We're going to sell all the olives, oil, and probably fish that we can to you, although I'm not sure, <laughs> not sure fish is worth the initial investment. Shipyard and dock. Well, it has to be done, doesn't it? Then again, maybe I can get away with just you doing a low bridge here because... No, that seems silly. I'm going to need a big bridge. Yeah, well... Jesus. I think Palmar goes a little too heavy on the gimmicks in his map, but... Hey -o. Something I really like about John's map is he don't he doesn't tend to go for gimmicks, he just makes beautiful and difficult maps. I need the space here, so sorry trees, they gotta go. Right. 
I might as well just get all the spending done immediately. Heavens knows we need to. I'm gonna set my salary a little lower. I might want that money for the city damn near straight away. God, this is expensive. I think that's fine for the um, for the mission post walker. Okay, that means I need the industry here and I need the people to work it. So, what kind of industry are we looking at? Lots and lots of olives. And lots of olive oil producing manufactories. With the warehouse here ish. One, two, with you going up there, and then you there. Okay. I'm really worried I'm not going to have the money for this, but oh well. One, two, three, four. gonna want more than that. Let's do more than that. So something like this. I'm not entirely sure how this is going, but we'll make it go regardless. I think I, I don't have the space investment or anything to also pursue fish here, so this will have to do. going to take the olives, you are going to take the oil, and I'm going to need the oil workshops here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe I get the mission post set up straight away in case I get to the point where I can't afford it. Remember, we're allowed to go into negative 5,000 and not a penny more. A little bit of labor access here. An engineer here, I guess. I just have to hope that he reaches everywhere. If he doesn't, I'll be in trouble. And then, with that set up, and hopefully making us all the money we could ever need, we just need to have this be slum. Slum, slum, slum. One, two, one, two. Welcome to the slum zone. They're going to need a doctor. They're going to need... Because of the doctor, they're going to need an engineer post, but aside from that, it's just slummy slums. That costs 840 to slum you up. Did I already open the trade route? I hope I did. I did not, so there's another 500 down the drain. And then I think I might... I'll just hope that I have everything set up that I need, and then embrace the ultra debt. So I'm going to save the map as... DDRJ Rat Race Stream. Uh, how much slum do you think we need? All of it? Because this puts me into irreversible debt. Meaning that I cannot build anything else after this. So I need to make sure everything is in place. Time to delete one tree on the island. Uh, everything seems fine there. Oh, good point. I needed to delete that or else you wouldn't be able to access this. One, two, three, four, one, two... Yeah, you should be able to quell those guys from that distance. I think I'll do that anyway, just to make sure you get all the way in. Mm-hmm. Is this game hard to get into? Uh, no, but it's certainly hard to master. There's a lot of esoteric game mechanics that you don't need to know to win the game, but...
to master the game. Yeah, for sure. Okay, my only fear is that I am... This engineer might not walk the way I need him to. So I hope he does. Right. Bring on the slums. Is that even going to be enough slum? Well, it has to be, because we're not allowed to build anything else. I suppose I could push it out a little bit more. They're not going to catch fire, so this is fine to do. There we go. Right, we're in the Omega Debt. Sei rimasto al verde piuttosto in fretta. Ora cerca di far durare questi fondi un po' di più. Does he even give me any money there? I governatori credono che i soldi crescano sugli alberi. Seem too happy. Right, we have two years to make over 6,000 denarii. And that's not counting the... Uh, the wages and other expenses that we might have. So we'll set taxes to zero, and I think I'm actually going to pay people a little less than... No, it's not worth the bother. Might be. Haven't said Caesar speak Italian since playing this game as a kid, says ass dings. <laughs> Stings. Uh. A lot of mergers going on. I look forward to getting to the point where I can actually talk about what I've done with mergers. Oh god, I've just noticed these wolves. Just noticed these wolves. Right. Well, I don't have the ability to build walls or anything. They could come and eat all my cart pushers and get rid of all of my ability to uh, sell things. We have gone and placated the natives. Tell me about the barbarian. Es wird eine Menge Arbeit kosten, um diesen Barbaren zu zeigen, welche Vorzüge Rom ihnen bieten kann. I turn off oil for now, so that everybody can work on making the olives. Get these people in as fast as possible. They must have been hidden in the forest. Yeah, forest hidden wolves is a very cruel thing to do. Well, that's a puzzle map for a reason, I guess. Can you block the wolfies in with some housing? <clears throat> yes, but no, because I can't afford to build anything anymore. Out of credit means you can't build, period. Alright, so the oil places are getting what they need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. So as as, well, I'm just going to turn it on straight away. As soon as I have oil stacking up here, we need to get it sold. Sadly, the cart pushers from the olive places don't equally spread it out to begin with. Although at least four of them are active, that'll do for now. Unemployment is of no concern, we just need to get these goods out there. Salve! Es wird eine Menge Arbeit kosten, um diesen Barbaren zu zeigen, welche Vorzüge Rom ihnen bieten kann. Yeah, I have no interest in Pharaoh to begin with, but the Pharaoh New Era remake looks like a god-awful cash-in. And it was made by the developers of Lethus Path of Progress, which is just another mark of disinterest. Well, I certainly made more slum than I needed. And we don't seem to be getting out of this debt quite yet, so... Let's see, iron, ex uh, not iron, oil export, olives export. Right, there is actually a temptation to get the fish exported just for extra money. Just a single wharf around here, if I could afford it, would be great. Now the, the local trader is coming in to buy my goods. I didn't- I don't feel like I made any real money there, though. Come on, get me that oil in. I need this badly. Okay, well, we're almost to the point where we could build something, but... Gotta remember that our priority right now is to get Caesar off my back. I need to become positive on money. No matter the cost. And I only, only have one year to do- Oh, that's bad! The engineer never stepped there at all. Damn, engineers have massive walk range. It was very unlikely that he didn't go there. He missed four 50-50s at taking that turn. Well, hopefully that doesn't hurt too badly. 
Although it's quite possible it won't make a difference. Ancorato. Ancorato. <laughs> Be so mad about Caesar. You need to elaborate. Ah, je sais pas pourquoi je me soucie avec cette route. Ils veulent rien m'acheter, ou bien ils ont rien à me vendre. Yeah, that's slowing down the oil output, which is a shame. I hate to say it, but I, I could have actually done with even more oil. Because we are not even close to filling up on our quotas here. Alright. If I fail this, which I likely will, because Caesar's about to flip his freaking lid, then we can solve it by just building slightly more oil processing. Yeah, there we go. So Caesar's gonna... Caesar's not very happy with us. Uh, well, okay, I need to slow down here. Right, so, I was close with the puzzle, but not quite there. One thing, I need more engineering. Probably from here, so that I guarantee getting that spot. Secondly, I need more... Wait, where the hell are the wolves? I don't see them. Where did they come from? Huh, something weird going on, I'm telling you. Right, more oil processing is needed. And these oil processors are actually going to double up as a way to block in the walls. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. With this, we're actually going to process all of the olives into oil, which is fine. Uh, if we end up with too much oil, then they're going to stop processing and it'll go into there instead. And this... There we go. All expenditure done. Tell me I already opened up the route. I did. Good. Caesar's not happy. So let's start selling the oil, selling the olives, and proceed. I'm going to make sure I've got my taxes to zero. Nice. Uh, oh, that's right. Turn off the oil until we have unemployment, because I need to focus on making the olives before the oil. I forgot to do this. Whoops. Without that, they can't get through. And I was planning on playing War Machine today, but I was recommended Rat Race first, and I already regret it. This is not nearly as fun as Caesar 3 should be. Caesar 3 is about building a city. Right. Ultra debt time. Is everything set up? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, that should be good. Let's go then. Sell excess, sell excess. Hmm. Sei rimasto al verde piuttosto in fretta. Ora cerca di far durare questi fondi un po' di più. It's good voice delivery. Sounds a bit more laid back about this. Oh, you need more money? I guess so. Sure thing. And then... See, in English, Polish, and Italian, they get the whole idea. Some of the other ones, it's a bit too... Eh, effeminate Caesar going on. Yeah, where the heck did those guys come from? Right, so bring in the plebes. Then, as soon as we have a reasonable amount of unemployment, these guys, these guys go on. They start squeezing it all out. And I need this oil so badly. We're all getting operational, though. Donkeys drink the oil. The Barbaran come and drink the oil. And look, it's piling up a lot faster now. Now I have one year to make slightly under 5,000 denarii. Um, there is an idea for making the wharf and the shipyard, because they will probably make more than they cost over the course of this year, and then it's just infinite money since then. Which I 
it has a long way to go, doesn't it? It's very poorly placed here because it has to go around to fish. I'm not sure it can get enough done, truth be told. Let's do it anyway. Yo. Tell you to accept meat. Oh, that's a good point. In two years, the price of fish will crash. But we also know that Toga Boy requests fish. Cut you off for now so that you don't use up my valuable labor. Come on, I need that oil yesterday. Maybe the point of the uh, puzzle map was that you need Neptune's blessing. That would be awful. Having to rely on Neptune. Even so, I'm not sure we get enough oil to do this. It's June. I got 2,000 denarii to uh, to make out of nowhere. Only 10 loads of uh, oil I can sell to the luckies out there. That's about 1,300. So I need the natives to be buying up more, and I need it produced so fast. Come on, everybody. Get to work. 1,400 debt. They are real wolves, right? Yeah, there they are. I haven't seen such convincing wolves since uh, Stronghold. Okay, come on. 800 denarii needed. 600. Where's my oil? Buy my oil, Lucky. Ah, Lucky won't buy any more oil because we've already reached our limit, so I'm relying on the natives here. Yeah, 200 denarii needed. If you just get over here and buy my last bit of oil, you natives. There we go. Whoa. Tighter than a duck's arse, that one. Final month and we're 44 denarii in the black. Right, I'll keep Caesar off my back. So I'm going to send him a little gift so he's not quite as most displeased as he normally is. Um, might as well make our save there. And then I can start... Well, I need to make another batch of money before I build anything, but at least that keeps us going for a little bit. Now, he's still going to be unhappy if I go broke at the turn of the year again, so... I'm a little tempted to donate what little money I have left to the city just to keep us slightly less in debt, but you know, we're going to spend all that money on wages anyway. <laughs> oh, if I had given the money I would have been in the black. I'm not sure that actually affected his favour, it was already, he was always unhappy. Uh, even so, we did it, slightly. Um, since I know that I need that meat a little bit, we'll say exports over eight. The oil and olives, so that's fine. That's a fresh load to get exported. But uh, now I could also consider selling more oil. Rome, for example, will buy a metric bugger ton of oil. Since so consider military, it's a lot of things. A lot of things I need to consider. Do we just wait this out a bit, or do we do anything else? Uh, if Caesar gets annoyed to lower than 10 favor, which will happen automatically if you're in debt for two years straight, uh, he orders your arrest. Then in a year or two, he sends a legion to destroy your city and arrest you. You can defeat the legion. It's quite powerful, but the first one is small, the second one is large, and the third and beyond ones are enormously huge. You need real defense to take care of it. All right, what are we looking at now? Yeah, with another wharf here, I could get even more fish coming in. And now I'm at the point where I can consider such frivolities. Oh, you're in the way. Mm. Moving you isn't really something I could do. However, I tell you what it is. It's me putting another wharf here just to double up on the fish production for Caesar and for exports. And then I put a shipyard here. 
and 100% of the shipyard's going to break down, but the point is just to uh, produce the ship for you, and then bring it back. Ah, see, there it is. Alright, so the money is coming in. It's not a huge amount of money, but it's enough to get us off our off our asses and doing something. So I need to ask myself where we trade with next. Expanding the... These, these wolves are really getting on my case. There's a good place here for feeding lots of people. I'll definitely use this in the future, so... I might use this for a very small military setup. I hope there aren't more wolves hidden, hidden in here. That'd be cruel. Even so, I'm going to shove some javelins in the corner. I'm going to have them barracked up right here, I think. I will probably migrate the barracks in the future, but for now that'll do. And as long as they can actually reach to there. I'll make myself a little army, kill you, kill them, and then it's time to migrate our way over and expand the family business. We're Italian, so it's all about the family. Do you need to rebuild an engineering post? Uh, possibly. I don't know if the engineer that we have covers everything. Looks like he does. Thanks, Brelix. He's just taking the mech. There's no way he'll leave, even if there is no food. I'm feeling a little greedy. How about a second load of Japlins? Damn, Rome pays more wages cutting into my bottom line. Yeah, I need to go kill the dogs. That's the point. We need to kill the dogs in order to expand. I see some dogs hidden in the in the forests there as well. I think I can kill the dogs with impunity if I set it up like this. And whilst you're doing that, I do want a second load of javelins in case needed. Some crazy streamers don't like using javelins. They're your, they're your only portable uh, ballistic units, so make use of them, right? Does it count as ballistics if it's thrown? Is it Pila a ballistic? Difficult questions. Right. Thinking about the approach here, I'll probably want this set up as a dock, so I think I need to bridge my way over here and here for maximum efficiency. Looking into the future, of course. Happy with how this start has gone, I'm already feeling quite gung-ho about my rapid approach. Oh, whoa, where the hell did you come from? Get out of here. Also, why can't we... Son of a gun, you can't actually get across there. I built this bridge and it was a waste of time. And I don't get a refund on it either, of course. I guess we're going across here then? That'll do. Still need these out of the way. Right now they'll go there. I'm going to get rid of this as an eyesore. No receipt, no refund, yeah, evidently. Right, nice thing about the wolves in the forest is that they have no recourse to me just shanking them like this. Which is good because wolves will utterly destroy non-academy trained javelineers. And then finally we just gotta make our way across here and then the whole map will be ours for the taking. And the using. We'll go across to here. The, oh, well, that might, be, that might be a bad idea, given what you can do. You can just run across here now, can't you? Even so. Even so. Get over there and see what you can do. Rome has lowered the price of fish. Caesar has not yet requested fish. I still make a little bit of money on the fish, so we'll keep that going. The main problem is when the earthquake strikes. That's when I need to open up with uh, Rome to make extra money. However... Olives are the future, and the future is now, so I'm going to purge you, and we're going to make a whole lot more olives and oil here. One, two, three, four more of you, I guess. Probably still won't be enough, but that'll do. 
I don't like my units getting lost inside the stairways, so I'll try to avoid that. Oil. One, two, three, four, five. Fix is proving difficult. Sit. Ah, oh, but I want this for a dock. Well, actually, once you get destroyed, I can put my dock over here and hopefully just need one of them. So that actually works out fine. So there you go. And of course, I'll probably want another engineer on the go-go. So there you go-go. Right, that's a lot of dead wolves. I will not deal with these last ones just yet, because I think they would murder my units. Oh, well, never mind. They're on their way. Um, let's be ready for them, because they're definitely on their way. Whew. Okay. Yeah, if I didn't have both units, that would have been bye-bye my everything. Any more trouble-causing wolves out there? I don't need to care about the forest preservation, because I can't uh, cut it down for lumber anyway. Okay, that's pretty good. We now have access to the full map. And we have enough uh, javelins to go and shank the enemy attackers, and we can quickly react because of their position. So that's a good start. Now I can actually start thinking about building a city. Yeah, I have not forgotten about the invasion point, don't you worry, girly. Damn, that is some good-looking oil stuff. Industry, that's the word. I hope I saved. I'm saving now. Right, so, finance is sorted, military sorted, wool sorted, map sorted. Now I can just build a bloody city. So we haven't talked about the requirements whatsoever. Culture is non-existent, as, as I prefer, man. Maps that say get a like 60 or 90 culture, I'm just, why have you put that in? Just, ugh. It's more interesting if the requirements were make an eternal city with these requirements, but I don't tend to stream eternal city making because it's actually quite long drawn out and rather dull, I think. I mean, I enjoy it, so it's hard to call boring, but it would certainly bore a lot of people. Prosperity 75, funnily enough, doesn't even require patricians, but we have access to patricians. We do have access to patricians, right? Whew. Okay, yeah, we can buy wine. If we can buy a second load of wine or vines, which we can, we could actually have max level patricians. Interesting. The map probably would have been even more interesting if we didn't have access to wine. Uh, because then we'd be forced to make everybody into Grand Insulae, but I think this map has gimmick enough as it is. Yeah. Right, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? The map is quite small, but there's a lot more building space here than one of John's maps, like Pocket City or... What was the other one? What was that really tiny one that I had to, had to do before? Right, best food available here is fishing by a long shot. I will try to just feed everybody with fish. There's plenty of fishing opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Forget the, forget the growing stuff. Growing stuff is for oil and potentially fruit exports to Rome, but uh, Rome has very high... Oh, hang on, couldn't I do my trading over here? Yeah, maybe. I was thinking about it for the marble there, but what's a lot better idea is just bringing the marble to here. And I should, I should get on that marble. Marble is good money. Marble and weapons, even. I should maximize this somehow. Let's see. Caesarea will buy a little bit of weapons. Weapons and marble. <laughs> the economic output of, mar uh, of weapons is actually higher than that of marble. And marble has no, actually, uh, no actual use for me here. A small temple is the only thing that I can make. Even so, it's just nice to get more export done. And the amount of weapons I can sell is really low. In fact, it's only... Uh, <laughs> two iron mines would oversupply me with weapons, funnily enough. Hmm. I think this will be rejigged to allow for two docks after all. But even so, even so. It'll be one, two, one, two... And one, two there, so... This'll be where the mining operation is. 
And then I'll have some people living here, of course. But they're going to need the fish. Can't underestimate the power of the fish. Nobody beats the fish. <laughs> Funnily enough, I won't be able to see where the merger points are here, but that's not going to be a big deal for this map, I would dare to hazard. Watering these people could be, though, so... Set up water for there and there. Just get rid of these woods, getting in my way. This will be a pretty undesirable place to live, but story of our people's lives, no doubt. Can make a lot of this desirable. There's plenty of space for it. I won't be able to tax my people. Oh Christ, yeah, no forums again. That means there's no incentive to put the people above small castle, which does make me sad. There are higher level buildings, but what makes much more sense is having a patrician block, probably here. And I'll cram in my plebs here and here. And hopefully that'll be enough for 4,000. Well, not hopefully. I know it'll be enough for 4,000. Shipyard needed for now, though. Uh, you know what? Meat is collapsing, so let's not even trade it. I'm just going to stockpile it. People over here. Yes, yes, yes. Gather a lot of people if I can. Let's take rather a lot of docks as well. Oh, I can't dock here. Dang. Might be harder to feed these people than I thought, but the fishing point is really rather close, so it shouldn't be too bad. Take care of all the necessary engineering needs. So we bring in our migrants. All the lion tamers in the world. Oh, y'all will be a lion tamer. <laughs> Very presumptuous. I will be the lion tamer. Hmm. Might be a bit of competition on grabbing a job. You know, I think I could slam you over here. Let's try this sneaky way to get our ships built. Sneaky doesn't seem quite right. This also needs to be my industrial zone, actually. It's going to be tight, but it can be done. The lack of space is one of the bigger reasons why I might actually just consider one of you and underproduce weapons. Do it like that. Yeah, we'll do it like this. One, two, one, two, one, two. Might be down here. Not quite so good for a number of reasons, but it's a modest housing area anyway, so I think this will be fine. Also need to consider granary placement. Honestly, there is my favorite place, so I'll do it like that. I worry that I'm not voicing a lot of my thought process for this map, but there's so much to think about. It's actually not the worst place for you, so you'll go here. You'll take the marble, you'll take the furniture, eh, uh, furniture. You'll take the marble, you'll take the weapons. Ta ching ta ching and I'll have this... <laughs> yeah, you have problems, man, but we'll deal with those problems shortly. Um. I'm gonna, once the earthquake hits, double dock this. Before it hits, though, I think I need to single dock it and just get going with the Rome exports. Oh, right, right. This bridge I built is a problem. I need everybody across it. I need to delete you. I need to replace you with a ship bridge, and then dock you. It's funny, I didn't know it prevented the- oh, cripes, that's not the only one I need. Well, 
Well, this just got a lot more expensive than I thought. Okay, even so, this should be fine. I don't have local access to marble. Why did I think that I did? Because it says marble there. Raw materials, marble core. Okay, what was I looking at? I was looking at workshops. <laughs> okay, there we go. Just talking out of my butt now. <clears throat> there we go, that's plenty of marble. Marble goes here. We have a getting warehouse. Probably need two getting warehouses, but one will do for now, especially once this clears up. And, 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 and. <laughs> things are going to get a lot easier when the earthquake strikes. That means I'm going to be at much better liberty to move things around here. 3,000 on opening up Rome. I'll wait until the turn of the year. So what's your game? Yeah, marbles and weapons, that's fine. But that also means that I need my weapons set up. You two will do nicely. A lot of intersections here. A lot more than one should ever truly have in their city. One, two, one, two. I guess that'll work. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, nothing but slum. I haven't even watered any plebs. Wish I had. Right, Rome, you're getting opened up. And we're going to be selling... Wow, that gives us access to everything. I'm going to sell that. I can't sell weapons just yet. There <laughs> uh, we go. Caesar's his usual angry self, but... New year, new trade quotas, and ships are going to come in and buy loads of this stuff. Unfortunately, they have a long way to go to get to that warehouse. I'm not happy with that. Which is why I'd like this to loop around a bit, but... In fact, I see a solution already. The oil workshop gets migrated. This road gets put here, and there you go. Now the, uh, the cart pushers have a much faster route to go to this warehouse. And they'll process the ships much quicker. And look, it's already worth the money. I would like you to start getting the marble and getting the weapons. We'll see how the rate of that is. And when I can, I'm going to open up Caesarea to start selling those weapons. Has Caesar really not asked for anything? What happened to his requests that we saw before? Now I'm just piling up a fish that I'm not putting to use. Maybe I should be selling it. How's the price? Hasn't collapsed yet, so I guess I will sell that stuff. So you're going to come along and you're going to grab those eight at a time, or four at a time rather. I do worry that it's still too slow, which is why I'm going to want another warehouse over here. Probably actually replace that olive farm with another getting warehouse. Get the marble, get the weapons. Mm, yeah, I guess. And there we go. It's getting sold, the money is coming in like crazy. Now I can actually start making uh, people that live in real houses. Instead of these god-awful slums I've been making till now. And these ones actually do care about mergers. Now, mergers. I have done something to allow me to spot where the mergers are. If I drag this thing, as long as it's one tile wide, what you do is you change the appearance of the ground underneath it. And you probably can't see it, and I can barely see it, but it is there. There's a tiny little magenta pixel that I've put on every tile that is not a merger point. And since there is not one here, I know that you are going to merge. And I know that this will merge as well. I know that this won't merge. 
but this will. So if what I've done is correct, this is going to end up as three mergers. Sadly, I have to wait a bit for migrants to arrive, but they will arrive. And now I'm just going to try and grab all the mergers here that I can. And it always works as long as I just drag a one tile wide thing. This doesn't change where the mergers will happen. It just lets me see where they'll happen. And that's quite useful to me. Uh, caveat, it does not work on fertile land yet. I can make it work like that, but I haven't done so yet. Damn these keeping up with Rome wages. How about you? Do you fancy merging? You do. Can confirm, not visible through encoding, says Nix. Excellent. Oh, look at that. Mergers just as I predicted. It's good being the best. Um, even so, there's a little bit of fishing required here and there, but only a little. Uh, we'll keep mergers, destroy all else, and then carry on our merry way. Are you a merger point? I don't see a magenta pixel there, so get to it. Then again, this does rely on me being able to see. Not my strongest point. Uh, oh crap, I should have spent a lot more money last year. Caesar took a huge amount out of me for uh, for tribute. Man, I really overproduce on the oil now. Maybe I can actually dip down on it. Maybe the problem is that... Um, yeah, you keep buying fish. I don't really want to sell you fish, actually. Yeah, forget the forget the trade of fish. I'll just keep hold of it. I need to get rid of these uh, these loads of oil that I have, and I have got loads of oil. Oh, this is fine. Oh, this is not fine. Rome actually wants less oil out of me. Huh. Right. Well, that that's a real problem. Am I selling the weapons? Because I should probably get on selling the weapons then. Yeah, just look how fast the uh, the oil fills back up. There we go. We knew Caesar would want the fish. He gets his fish. I'm going to give him some slaves as well because he's very, very unhappy with me for some odd reason. And I think that's about it for how much I care about getting these mergers. The population requirement on this map is very low, so I don't need to care about it that much. And again, since we don't have the ability to tax these people, there is no incentive to make them anything better than small casa. How many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16... Oh, I've lost count already. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What's uh, 26 times 38? It's a number, all right. If only my man Sheffron were here to help me out, he'd know the answer. I'd really know the answer. It's a lot of you. Deals with a ton of you. Let's get those marketplaces operational. Honestly, two of them should do as long as they do the loops properly, and I can't imagine why they wouldn't. But beyond that, you just need a very crummy theatre. I actually don't have a lot of space for putting down, well, anything. But a theatre, a little bit of godly love. I might actually put down two bits of godly love over here. Oh, I squeezed the size of the window there. We like Mars and we like Ceres, so there you go. And a library can go practically nowhere. Hmm. Oh, I really left myself no space for you, didn't I? I think I might overproduce food for such a small amount of people, truth be told. So it's not unthinkable to just high-boss your existence. And stick the library here. There we go. Uh, 
how they hate where they live, it's so undesirable. There you go. That won't be enough, but it's the start. Wow, good, the money is just pouring in now. Can a side of granary be used as a road connection without an actual road? Not for the purpose of spawning a walker, so I wouldn't be able to put a library here. But people can still walk through a grant. These people probably find their land too undesirable, but a couple of large statues can really raise the raise the roof. Well we have the money, we might as well make our beloved statues. Gardens for anybody else who wants them. Alright, well that works out pretty well. Hmm, I hope that is enough fishing for them then. I might have been a little too hasty. Too much oil. Wait, did uh Okay, fish have fish has completely collapsed, it's not even worth thinking about now. Is this really only a thousand people living here? That's a bit sad. But I'll be able to get quite a lot of people living over here the moment I purge all of this. Can I purge all of this? I would really like to set up a proper living area here. I'll wait until this is a bit more filled up with people, then I'll do so. Yeah, losing 15 of my exports to Roma kind of hurt quite a lot. So did paying Caesar 2,500 in, uh, in tribute. Okay, surely, surely we can purge all of these people now. Oh, I could not. Whoops. Okay, well then. I need... I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn off the oil for a little bit to uh, get those workers where I need them. And now I need to... get to work. Two over to the side. Now it's going to look not too dissimilar from what we had before, but no giant senate in the way this time. So I think it's more work than just slamming the stuff down. Not to mention the fact that we really need people slammed in right now. Come on, Casa a million, get back in there. Okay, good, that actually got loads of them back. Then I can turn back on my oil. Engineer post wherever I can fit one. That seems fine. Uh, that seems finer. I could fit you in somewhere that really doesn't have to merge, like you. Fine, and now let's get mighty Wharf and Power Rangers. Fun fact, 490, uh, 495 BC was the year when Rome was changed into a republic. Toga Boy is, in this game, the last Roman king. But was he a good Roman king? Wow, it really drank through the oil there. Hmm. Is this always open? There we go. Enemies are closing. Well, fortunately, we have our army at the ready. Is that earthquake? I don't know when that earthquake happened, but I kind of want it now. Right, so which of these are merger points? None of this merges. This, however, does merge, so we will have that. And we can do a similar trick along here. 
If it's got a magenta dot, it does not merge. So we know that you are fine. This is actually a little awkward to do, but it's doable. Gotta do it one at a time. Just because of one of the, w uh, the ways the road works in this game. Right, are you okay? I don't see a magenta dot, so you're fine. You'll be fine, and you'll be fine. So... Empty vacant lots like this despawn if they are at, um, more than two units away from a road. So what I need to do is temporarily put a road here to keep this from despawning, wait until people move in, and then have the merge, get rid of the non-mergers, a few non-mergers get rid of here, and then move it down a bit to here. And this is nice because I know that these are going to spawn, it's not, a, it's not a question of will they, won't they, using my grand abilities. Well actually what I went through, what I did was I went through the game and uh, assessed all the different tiles, checked the ones that merged, and edited them. That one, this I actually wonder if I can do. I can make this a little tighter by doing that. You guys are non-mergers anyway, so get out of my hair. This also doesn't look like it's going to ha host the largest number of uh, people known to man, but I could always just maximize. I rather think I will. We need as many people here as we can. So you'll go there, you'll go there. And it's just small casts, so it's not the hardest thing in the world to make. Far from it, it's very, very easy to make. I just want all the wee mergers that I can. Actually, there was no guarantee that, that last one merged. I forgot to check the tiles. You'll merge. You'll also merge. Okay, that's a lot of mergers. Now we need to start feeding these poor sods and giving them the very basic access to to services. Praise Venus. Small temples are all we get, right? Praise Venus. Get some librarians going, and we need some kind of entertainment. Where am I going to cram a theatre here? I've kind of used up every bit of space that I have. I also wonder if the engineer is doing his rounds properly. It looks like he is. Ah, you did merge. Was I perhaps mistaken? Never. There we go. Uh, these guys I didn't check properly though, however, what I can do is this. Not quite. That. Only good if they don't merge, because that gives me a freebie of a place to put in a theatre. But they do merge. And why is, why is fish still lowering in price? It's already worthless. What am I meant to do with this stuff? Right, the only... Oh, right, I forgot I need to water these poor sorry sods, don't I? Your water goes out to there, which actually might be a struggle for me. That's fine. I'm used to a good struggle in Caesar. It's all of you. One way or another, I need water over here. That actually puts you in a very unfortunate position for me, so I'm going to migrate your temple. Fortunately, there's still access around the back there, so I can still keep Venus here. And then it's watering plot. Fortunately, that gets everybody here, sort of. also useful, and that's just a case of doing you. Oh, well, that's pretty splendid. Pretty dark and splendid. Too shabby. I hate being next to wharves, so I might... I might find myself forced to plaza up a little bit along the docks. Clinic? Mm. 
Holy moly, how in the world do we not already have uh, sickness? Good call. I completely forgot about clinics. I'll put one here, but not one there, just to keep my health, uh, city health low enough. You don't actually want health that's too high, because then people become so healthy they refuse to die. Right, I'm getting rid of you, because you're in the way for two good buildings here. What I can do is I can put my theatre here, and have space for something else if the need arises. The library does the full loop, hopefully the theatre does as well. And then we'll get our castle going there. Eddie Toga boy, we've got your fish on demand. Actually, would you like yourself a bunch of Arabian stallions just to wash those fish down with? Did that earthquake come at some point so I can destroy this? Actually, if there's anything that we want here, it's another marketplace. I'm not convinced the markets that I put down do enough looping around. Gardens down, you gone. And yeah, it's so undesirable being here. You've got all these stinking docks and the granary. And believe it or not, the granary is a very undesirable neighbor. Uh, you don't actually need that, you're right next to some uh, beautiful uh, large statue. There we go. We've almost uh, reached the population goal already. And I'm actually quite surprised at that. Are we sure we counted these correctly? Oh, the food is actually insufficient here. Right, what would I do in such a situation? I'd shove the library here. I would give it some very weird road access like that. And I would bring back the wharf. There we go, it's a very efficient wharf, so it's going to provide tons of food. Don't like the idea of having food devolutions, they're the most frustrating of all devolutions. I don't think there's real food shortages here, it's just a food supply issue. The thing is, these houses are massing up lots of food at the expense of others who are late in the uh, market ladies' walks around the place. So I actually think there is enough food. If there's not, then I will swallow humble pie, but I think that there is. And there's also a lot of unemployment, so I need to start thinking about our patricians. Chat, what kind of patricians will we have? There's small, medium, large, and grand villas, or small, medium, large, and luxury palaces. Eight to choose from. Try not to be so boring with your choice. <laughs> Some people just go, the biggest one, and that's just such a Neanderthalic approach to building villas. You should do you should do it much more tastefully. Zaxxon wants the large villa. Logium wants the kind that drink all of the wine. Alasso insists that we get palaces, but doesn't say which ones. Barbaric villas. <laughs> the biggest ones. Well, uh... Zaxxon is the only one to actually specifically name one, so we'll go for large villas. Hmm. Interesting setup here that I can get a lot of 2x2 two two services up here. One, two, how are we going to have this? I reckon... I reckon... I wouldn't mind some waterfront large villas here. I use the house because the villas are three by three. You, you there, one, two, three, one, two, three. I don't fit in like that, of course. Two, three, one, two, three. Ugh, but then it starts getting a little iffy here. Wait a second, I have an idea. One, two, three, one, two, three. We're going to have three large villas and two medium villas here. I don't know if that's going to be enough to offset all of the uh, issues with prosperity due to all the small casa, but I think it'll be enough. Can you put the villa close to the hill and the road on just the other side? Yeah, it's possible for me to have the villas up here, actually. One, two... Three villas could be placed on the higher crown tier.
Hmm, hold that thought. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna have five small villas up here for the hell of it. Uh, screw the medium villas here. I'll have some large villas here and some small villas here. I like that. Who had that brilliant idea? Palaces on this tight spot would be quite something. Nah, not really. The jump from villas to palaces is minute. You don't have that much space to make luxury palaces. You can make three or even four here, perhaps. Right, what do they need? Um, not a lot, honestly. And there's good space for fishing right here. Excellent space for fish right there. I only need two food types, so it's going to be fish and vegetables. And we don't need these trees. I mean, they're nice aesthetically speaking, but they're not necessary. Uh, I like those ones, so we'll keep them. vegetable farms that might be overkill it might not I'm not running the numbers here you get out of my way not putting a lot of thought into this although I probably should around there or not. Doesn't really make much difference, so up you go. I do know that I need to make some pottery for you, but only a tiny amount. What I will need here though, one way or another, are warehouses, so probably like three of them. I need you to get oil. You are going to accept what little pottery that I make here, knowing that I can't export any of the excess. Is that really true? Does no one buy pottery? Nobody buys my pottery. What a shame. Well, that being the case, let's get our clay pit and our poultry uh, workshops going. Honestly, one workshop is plenty. These guys are not going to need that much pottery. I will need some furniture and stuff imported. Furniture and wine, actually. It's a little awkward. With this setup right now. Couldn't I just import some raw furniture and import some raw wine? Wait, I can't import wine. Surely somebody sells me wine. Valencia will sell me wine. There we go. So give me some furniture and give me some wine. You get the oil, which is fine. You get the furniture and wine. So there'll be all the goods here. Although the pottery will take a while to mass up. You're close to the docks, so you get the meat. Doesn't really matter how far away you are from the vegetables. Vegetables are slow to grow. And then, and then. Actually, I wonder if these are merger points. This is not a merger point, but that's okay. This is also not a merger point, but that's okay. Neither is this a merger point. Wait, didn't I say screw the small... I'm pretty sure I said screw the... Uh, the small villas there. I want them up top, didn't I? Sounds like something I said. Right. You merge conveniently. You also merge conveniently. You also merge conveniently. You don't. And you do. So I'll leave that space to the final one. And... In terms of access to workers... You merge conveniently. You get out of here. I also want my... Uh, my large villas here. And you merge conveniently. Water access. Yeah, I actually think I can water everybody from there. Oh, 
Oh, it's tight. It's tight as a tiger. But we can water everybody from there. Have you played Zeus and Poseidon? I think I've played all the Impressions games by now, but Zeus 3 is the only one for me. All the others are just pale limitations, which isn't strictly true, it's just that the, the theming of Caesar is so strong and so right for me. And doubling up the engineers because uh, walkers tend to get lost in stairs. We are using these stairs. I'm going to need a senate, and of course I'm going to need my own humble household here as well. But we'll get to both of those things soon. Actually, I think I will add another vegetable farm because it takes a while for food to mass up, and our patricians are going to want a lot of it. Oh, hang on, I must have been off the money. I thought that was a merge for sure. Ah, bollocks. We're not exporting quite so much. Uh... Oh, Frankie, did that get rid of it? No, it's just down to 15, but uh, they don't like to buy our, uh, our stuff so much. Okay, I'm now realizing I haven't saved in forever. Change that now and just send our units off to hopefully not die. There might be more people here than I can feed. I really thought this wouldn't be a food production issue, but perhaps it is. I suppose in the end it is only six docks, or six uh, wharves rather. Oh, well that was trivial. Let's hope they remain trivial. Well, we don't have any more coming in. It's not really a military map after all, right? Who would make such a thing a military map? It's actually not a bad place for the markets to be. Nice uh, nice position to access everything. Okay, that is more furniture than we are ever going to need, so I'm going to stop the furniture imports. And not the wine imports, because that we're going to need. Nice that the patricians can look down on everybody else. Yes. Well, that's the point. What's the point of being rich if you can't look down on others? I would hazard that there's no point at all. Yeah, what the hell. I'll have another pottery workshop or else it's going to be too slow in producing the pottery. Once we have the wine here as well, we're going to have everything that's needed. So it's just a case of giving them the... Um, the whatchamacallums. Yeah, those. Services, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I'm glad I actually doubled up pottery production. That stuff's going to take a while. Okay, what are they going to need? Barber access, yes. Doctor access, yes. Some lovely baths. Now I wish I'd made waterfront baths, but how about baths right there? You know, it makes it look like some kind of thermal baths with little rocks there. Uh, they will also need some hospitaling. These guys are tricky because they will evolve if I give them hospital access, so I actually need to make it undesirable enough to keep them uh, low down. Or I put the hospital somewhere like here and hope that it doesn't go that way. No, that's a silly thing to do. Here's your hospital access. They're going to need religious access, so... Eh, one, two, three, done. Should take care of all of that. Schools are going to be needed for both of them, so school there. Uh, that should reach everywhere unless the kids get lost in the stairwell, which does happen often. Uh, library is needed, and academy is needed. Hopefully that can all do the loops just fine. Oh, I didn't put much thought into, um, into this. Right, that's not the Academy's home, this is going to be the Colosseum's home. There's not going to be a Hippodrome, there is simply no space for one here. Not to say that I couldn't do a Hippodrome on this map, but I obviously didn't put any thought into it, so it's not happening now. If I cut back on the vegetable production... Yeah, the layout here is just slightly inconvenient for what I want to do. I'm going to get rid of you and you, and then we're going to have our gladiator, our... What's the other one again? Lions. And we're going to want an amphitheater. Screw it, I'll just do a little bit there, it should be fine. And we'll need a theater. 
That should be plenty. For entertainment, at least. I am the Senate, and I will have my Senate right here. I don't like that it blocks the bathhouse so much. But where else would I put it? Well, if I have you down here, that might be better, but it blocks a lot of my ability to boost your desirability. But... One, two, one, two, two. One, two, three, two, three. There we go. Nice and central. And then I can have my very modest home nearby. I'm not sure I'll be quite that immodest, but I can have it. And that is almost everything. So we'll see how people do. Oh, right, water. How dare my fussy Romans actually need watering. Can't actually quite water you over on this point, but... Two, three... <laughs> Difficult, but I think I will put you right there. We'll see how they do with that. Good morning, Jake. You started earlier than I realized. Yeah, I shoved my whole um, routine back by two hours. A couple of years ago, this was my usual starting time, but I got lazy and pushed it to 12. But now I find myself really enjoying being up at a reasonable hour in the morning. So the uh, stream started at 10. Okay. People are going to be waiting on pottery now, but they shouldn't need much. The heck is the earthquake? When did that happen on the last run? Oh well, no biggie. Il y a un problème de chômage dans cette cité. Problem de le chômage, you say? Doesn't sound like a real problem. Sounds like a manufactured issue. Desirability is going to be a little tough in this corner, so we'll actually use the Crutch Plaza. Oh, look at him go. And I do think the school kids are actually going the distance for once. Yeah, there we go. I really expected them to get lost in the stairwell. They do that a lot. So free. I hope I can get rid of this small tent at some point. But what might be more tasteful is to evolve it. Can I reach you from there? I don't think I can. But what if I tried really hard? Then I could, I could actually. Slam the fountain in here. We'll water you. And it actually makes a nice diagonal line up there. You won't be desirable, but I think I'll bring you up to Casa level just to meet, uh, just to be the same as everybody else. There we go. Good. They're locked at Casa level. As is often the case, our people complain about the desirability. Hmm. Is that something I could do with this? Actually, I think I've made this all wrong. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Ah, bummer. I can only actually get two large villas here. Which itself is not a big issue, actually. Means I can put you here, get rid of you, have my humble home, and have some extra statuing done. And just for the looks, I can double up on the fountains. Oh, nice. Nice. I like that quite a bit. Once they get the wine, they'll all be satisfied. What the heck's your guys' problem? I don't like the lack of desirability here, which is a bit of a problem, because I need to manage their desirability quite heavy-handedly. I have seen all of the schlubers there. The house and betala verkligen so little skatt att det slöseri med min tid. A reminder that I should really start taxing my people. So we're going to start paying above Rome, 
and enacting our taxation policy. The Dutch accent is quite bad, says Bass. What? What's wrong with it? Uh, oh, I destroyed the academy and did not build a replacement, didn't I? Oh, there's your academy. Right, easy does it. Managing this desirability will be a little tough, but possible. here. I was hoping to have some evolved level uh, marketplaces here. Come on, I want you guys to look good. Yeah, there, that looks good. There's the large villa, as requested. The Dutch speaking there is quite bad, yes, but what does that have to do with the accent? Ah, <laughs> oh, to be Dutch. I wonder if they wake up in the morning and go, wow, I'm Dutch. Uh, uh. Right, for some reason the barber can't make his way up there. He's getting lost in the stairway as he often does. And that's very unfortunate. There is no point at all of me mining out marble anymore because I can't sell it, so actually it's probably better just to turn off marble. But now it's kind of taking up space for no good reason, so do not get marble anymore. Yeah, there's no use for marble. Marble just became a useless trade good, which is sad. Alright, there we go. I think it's a very, very good way to use earthquakes, destroying your ability to trade with the natives. It puts a timer on using them as a money printer. Just all in all, a good use. And now I'm pretty happy because I can set this up as a double dot. Now, whether or not I need this set up as a double dock is a different question altogether, but it makes trading quite a bit faster. Yeah, natives are very dead. Well, some of them survived. Also, hey, this is looking quite good. A lot of devolution, though, because of lack of goods. That's because all of the marketplaces are down here, and notably not up there. What could be done about such a thing? Doom, doom. Well, more marketplaces, but how and where? Difficult to set them up so they actually deal with you. I could actually put a nice central marketplace here. It would look nice, and it would guarantee these guys access to what they need. There we go. And in the end, I care most about making my cities look nice. Well, function matters, of course. I was hoping the market would evolve in looks, though. Come on. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. The sound effects or some things are just so loud, especially when I click on buildings. I really need to go and have another pass on my sound files to change them, because unfortunately in this game, the speech volume level, which is of course, of course that, it also affects the sound that buildings make when you click on them. So Granary, Wharf, Gladiators, they all share that uh, sound thing, even when I click on empty land. So I think I just need to go through and just vastly reduce the noises, uh, the ambient sounds in the game. What are you devolving for? Lack of oil. Yeah, I just need the marketplaces to be operating better. It'll take this marketplace a wee while to stock up on goods, but when they do, things should be relatively rock solid here. I am going to get my extra pottery workshop though. Okay, I have bajillion unemployment, but I'm pretty confident about how this map is going. Except for some of these devolutions. I'll cut back on some of them, hope that it helps.
Looks like it's going pretty well. It is going pretty well, but only if you didn't see the, uh, the start. The start went very, very badly. But, you know, it's a puzzle map. These things are to be expected. Just hiding behind the excuse of puzzle map. Actually, why don't you also get the wine? That way you will not get the wine. And then I can keep furniture on import. I need to be wary of my money. That's That could start falling apart with all these trade agreements drying up. And I haven't made the best patrician block here in terms of financially lubricating myself. You're causing me issues. Don't cause me issues, please. And now I need to manage their desirability, which is quite easily done with Plaza. I said I wanted small villas here, right? I think I did. Actually, ooh, that looks rather nice. Small, medium market. I'll try and do the same on the other side. Hopefully that's fine. When these go away, you should uh, evolve a bit more. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Do need people to move in there. Great. Oh, yeah. If you just kindly make your way up to small... Um, small villa and no greater, we'll all be good. What's your problem right now, though? Oh, entertainment. But you will get entertainment of that, I'm certain. <laughs> the tax I make up these guys is quite paltry, though. Good. See all the workloads and sloopers? Oh, you're by. You're by. Älskar att driva in skatt från rika hus som det här. And these guys give me double tax when they start filling up, but I'm still pretty dependent on trade. Wait, the clinic walker doesn't get you? Surely he does. Look at the loop he does. Um, uh, oh, okay. No, he really doesn't. Fortunately, though, it's very, very easy for me to put in an additional clinician. <laughs> oh, perhaps I didn't even need that, because you had... Oh, no, that actually worked pretty well, because you got the doctor instead. So there we go, that's very tasteful. Small, medium market, medium, small. A couple of large on the waterfront. Now, whether or not that's enough to meet our prosperity targets, I don't know, but the the population's pretty low here, so I like to imagine that it will be. So I actually think that we can just fast forward to glorious victory. <laughs> the gods hate me, but I turned off god effects, so I'm not too worried about that. That said, you still don't get access to our gods, so... Give them a little bit of locating here. Why did Nitro butcher his voice? Well, he insisted on bringing out the guttural noises of being uh, Dutch. Right, I'm actually going to send Caesar his outrageous demands there because it's pretty difficult to get his favour up. I mean, favor required 95 when he has so few requests. It's tough. I'm doing what I can here, Toga Boy. You have to understand. Please understand, small indie governor. Turned off the gods? What the heck did I miss? So I'm sick of uh, relying on Neptune's blessing to get me through the start of maps. And I'm also sick of god slums, so... I've just turned off God Effect, so neither of those have to plague my cities anymore. Can we do something to make the Center Islands look more artistic? The Center Islands? You mean these? I can't reach them or build on them. Well, I, I can build on them, I guess, but... 
I don't really want to delete their existing trees there. This is the one thing that could really do with being made better, but I don't want to touch my fragile economy. I suppose it doesn't look that fragile now, does it? But that's a pathetic amount of taxes to get. Well, to be fair, these are some pretty damn low level. Oh god, no, large casa! Say no to large casa, I just want small casa here. Ah. Uh, perhaps. Oh no, I don't have prefects to lower desirability. Do wells have a range of two on their desirability? Hmm. Wait, I have an idea. I'm going to rob them of their water, devolve them one level, and then let them... Ah, oh, they still want to be large casa. I don't want you to be large casa. I'm going to migrate the library even, just to make your life more undesirable. There we go, that's better. You bother me a little bit. Slides as ever. We do make way too many units of oil now. Yeah, Rome's demand dried up by 15. And. Whoa, actually, Toletum's demand, I think, grew? Or am I imagining that? Whatever the case, I certainly have too much. So I might. I think I'll try and evolve you up to. Um, up to. to, 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 to. It's okay, the words are there, they're just failing to come out. I'm trying to evolve them up to small casa. If you reach around like so, come out to there. You're going to grab the meat. <clears throat> You're going to be very undesirable, so I'm just going to clarter you in plaza. Give you access to the water that you claim to desire. And then it's just a case of marketability. I have too much oil being made, so there's no big deal in just purging some of it. There's your market. Here's your like, library, I guess. You're going to need some kind of god to praise. I'll give you Ceres, since you're surrounded by all this glorious Ceresian stuff. And you will want some kind of theatre going on. And it leaves me thinking that there's surely space for another couple of small castles here. I think you merge. I don't think you do. I see the little magenta dot there. I'll do what I can with you, though. Which leaves me thinking that a fountain... Mm, that'll do. Hopefully you merge. You do. Well, that's just splendid. When I left, it was a thriving town to eat dinner. When I come back, I see a city. Man, has the city expanded. Now, what can I say? Really good. Well, we'll save that for when we hit our goals. The prosperity is really... Uh-oh. Oh, jeez, right, my water is there. Defend the water, everybody. Quickly now. There we go, we win on the stick-throwing front. Very pathetic attacks. But it doesn't look to be a map that's hefty on the attacks. At least that's it's, it's what I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it stays at. Uh, poor Neptune and Mars don't get a lot of love. There we go, now you'll become the small cat so that you should be. And now everybody lives in small cat. Who in the world is staying in a small hobble? And who's doing better than that? Oh crikey, what happened here? Ah, I migrated the library and that actually uh, cut off their access to it. I really don't want that there because it makes you a large... Uh, a large casa. Maybe if I got rid of that? Mm, 
trying to think of a way to make their life less desirable. I know. I always know. A wharf. Nobody likes living next to a wharf. Uh, that might have been too effective. There you go. Yeah, that took care of that. You know what would be even better than a wharf here? Get the yard. Perfect. That way I don't need the shipyard here. That I can slam down another wharf. I also need to take a quick water break. I'll just let the game run whilst this is happening. come back and I wonder, are we actually growing prosperity? Because 45 is not a lot. Claims that it's rising, but thinking about it, there is quite a few things that I'm not doing to raise prosperity. Uh, I do make a profit, though. And we are above what we need. Unemployment is horrifically high, though, so that's not helping matters. Pretty happy with this society uh, layout, though, so I reckon we can just speed up. And I'm very interested to see what happens to my prosperity at the turn of the year. That being worth less isn't a big deal. What was I about to check? Oh yeah, Toga Boy. Has some gaulish bodyguards. I don't make a lot of money, Caesar, so do appreciate that I'm spending what little I have on you right now. And you need just a tiny bit of encouragement. There we go. Very nice, very humble. Though, actually, we gained six prosperity in the year. So, you can gain up to ten prosperity per year. And a good question might be, well, how do you get all ten prosperity? And I'm talking to Pat at the timer as I quickly try and bring up my image that has all that kind of information for me. Okay, there we go. So as long as your prosperity cap is higher than your existing prosperity, you're going to gain two prosperity per year. And the prosperity cap is measured by the average quality of all houses, so um, patricians have uh, prosperity levels from like 150 to 1700 or so, and that'll offset your plebs. Small Casa, for example, has prosperity cap of, I believe, 35, so it's very low. So let's say we had 50 small casa, and uh, what do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 patricians. So it's like 30 time, uh, 50 times 35 and 6 times whatever these are, and then the average of all of that. Which I'm hoping is 75 or higher. I haven't run the numbers, but I'm assuming it's going to be okay. So as long as that is above the cap, you'll gain 2. You'll gain another 2 if you make a profit, which is... Da -da 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 -da. Here, of course, your net in-out flow must be positive, or if it's negative, uh, you can add your construction costs to it. Caesar doesn't care about your prosperity if... or Caesar doesn't care about profit as long as... Uh, as long as your negative goes into building up the city, apparently. 10% of your population living in villas gives you another prosperity uh, point. I don't think we have that. I mean, what do we have? 90, 90... 40, 42. So, yeah, we don't even have 300 people of our 4,000 population living in villas. We could. I could definitely have made this a much 
larger and grander setup, but I did not. And I'm happy to not. Uh, you also get another point of prosperity if your unemployment is below 30%. Uh, I don't have a lot of space for it, but I do, I do have some tricks. I could soak up this unemployment with fountains or with mission posts. But I always find that looks really tacky. I only do it if the need is really dire, and it's not dire right now. An active hippodrome also gives a point of prosperity. And that's that's a big one that I'm missing out on, but I've left myself no space for a hippodrome. Uh, if you have under 5% unemployment, then you'll get it, but I obviously don't have that. People below Grand Insulae having more than one type of food. I'm actually not sure what that does. I actually think... I actually think you just get that point as long as you have anybody eating two types of food. It's a nebulous one that uh, back in the day didn't get a lot of uh, looking into. Okay, enemies are on their way again. Maybe I should build up another fort just in case. Don't know where I'd put it though, because I've left myself no space. How many of these oil industries do I have anyway? I got five. And 15. Okay, I've got way too many uh, oil making facilities. So I can purge quite a lot of them. Honestly, this whole place needs redone over. But I don't think I care enough to do that. One, two, three, four, five. And maybe I could even fit another. Well, actually, there's no need to build up more plebs. We have plenty of that. How about soaking up the unemployment with temples? Temples barely employ anybody. Two employees per temple. Five if it's a large temple. They're one of the most efficient uses of employees in the game. So, no, that would make no sense. What you could do to soak it up is... Libraries, libraries and academies and doctors, they you they take up loads of unemployment. That said we have loads of unemployment at 816. City health is good as well. I could probably just fast forward this and have an eternal city already good to go. But I'm keen on seeing if we can make it to the to the finish here. Did I give Caesar his Yeah I did. Have some performing slaves while we're at it as well. You probably hit the prosperity cap. We'll see. Uh, 53. Oh, Jesus, that is a low prosperity cap. Hmm, well, that's a problem, isn't it? But it's not an unsolvable problem. Not an unsolvable problem, huh? Oh, man, I hit that prosperity cap hard. What could I, would I, should I do? I could easily evolve these small casas into not small casas. And I do mean easy, it would be trivial. Thinking about it, thinking about it, still thinking about it. Only the clay pit there isn't uh, big enough that I could easily get rid of one of you. In fact, I could get rid of all of this and migrate some stuff. Myself a clay pit here. I still want my lion tamer. I'm still going to need probably two vegetable farms. Yeah, that's definitely enough for everybody. Need a pottery barn. How many do I have right now? I've got two. There's three. Probably put the fourth one over there. Doesn't really matter. And now I need to bring those goods over here. So you're going to need a warehouse that to get that pottery we're also going to need a bathhouse for all of you smelly romans and then these guys should evolve a fair bit they do need a little more actually they also need uh, an amphitheater but fortunately we have so much population that i can do these things without any real problem Now, further problem is that either I need to build a gladiator workshop and a, an actor colony, which actually I could do. That would be no real problem. I've got space for them over here. Hmm. Well, if it's no problem, then we'll do it. 
I was thinking about increasing our coverage of theatre, amphitheatre, enough to give them a plus five bonus, but I'll decide against it instead. Don't get Madiator, etc, etc. The colony as well. Bring you along like so. Give you an extra engineer's post in case things start crumbling down. And another marketplace, in, well, maybe even a couple of marketplaces in case some walker shenanigans start happening. You hate where you live now that there's a... Yeah, imagine that. You set up all nice and good and then suddenly a warehouse pops up next door and every day you just hear the clanging of their warehouse operations. But that's quite unpleasant. Even so, once you start getting the pottery, and I do make enough uh, pottery now, I'll evolve you guys up to, I don't know, something, and that'll be plenty to reach the prosperity cap, probably. Do I want to get you furniture as well? No, I really, really don't. It's a long way to go for, to get the pottery, but I'm confident they'll be fine. If they're not fine, I could give them another warehouse. I mean, you could get the pottery and the furniture. A little expensive, but I'm sure it's fine. Actually, don't don't even bother getting the pottery; just get the furniture. Which you don't seem to be going out and getting. I wonder if having you in the edge of the map is hurting for some reason. Also, Amphitheatre Walker does not uh, make their way around enough. Entertainment Amphitheatre. Ooh, yeah, that's a little sad. Mm. However, I see my solution is to have another Amphitheatre. And Prosperity continues to climb up as it should. See that Togo Boy actually wants something of me. It's hard to keep him happy if he doesn't have requests, especially on a salary of almost nothing. Now we're working our way up to medium insulate, which should be plenty to keep these people satisfied. Okay, now I am this idea that uh, I have plenty to take care of these attacks. I hope it remains that way. Because right now we're just crushing them. I sincerely doubt it's a gotcha moment with a massive attack. Prefect, why are there none in the city? It's a northern map, so you don't need prefects. There, uh, there are no fires on this kind of map. You really hate being next to that thing, don't you? It's okay, a small statue here will solve some problems. Actually, you know what? We're rich. Take all this plaza. And then what little is still unhappy. We're way up in the population goal, so I could actually just come in and smash down a statue. There we go. Pretty splendid. So that raised this substantially. The prosperity rating of Medium Insulae is... Uh, quickly scrolls through his notes. 68. A massive boost from the 35 of uh, Small Casa. Enemies are at the door. I also realized that I did not rebuild my barracks. An undesirable neighbor though it may be, it's quite important to actually produce units. These people are going to demand even more food now since the, pop the population density has gone up. It wouldn't be the worst idea to start purging some of them, but we'll see how my prosperity is growing. It should grow to 70. 
If it doesn't, we're still in the cat. Wait, it didn't grow at all. Oof. Oh boy. <laughs> this is worse than I thought. But still easily manageable. We're way above the population goal. So what I could do is just purge a lot of you. Bring some much-loved pottery over here as well. And heck, even some additional furniture. Then, and then, and there. Get them their bathhouse, and... I could amphitheater them, but what else could I do for them? That's better questions. What else do I want to do for them? Not a whole lot. Purgy. Trying to think of where I can squeeze in some actor colony and such for them. There's the actor colony. They will need a gladiator school somewhere. And since I no longer need these mines... Actually, I no longer really need you, do I? What I could do is I could have you accept the weapons, I can just purge you, and then I could put my Madiator School here. Desirability should be fine, thanks to the large temples. I don't like the increase of the attacks coming in. There might really actually be an attack problem. Tell you what, let's, let's be in purge mode. We're quite certain they're coming real soon, so I'll do that. And I will wish that I had left myself space for more units. Gotta be careful though, these guys can get uh, really unhappy hanging around all day. The morale is going down and down and down. Okay, there we go. Easily. Easily solved. Why is there why are there even attacks on this map? Okay, that's nasty. So there is no, there was no incentive to make marble whatsoever because uh, the the trade completely dried up for it, and there's no use for it for building. So why is it a required good for Caesar? I don't know. Anyway, needs to go back on. No exports, and we'll build up what we need for Toga Boy. I'll have you accept the marble? That means I should definitely not have you getting. Getting weapons is fine, but getting marble is not. This is quite good though, it will clear out my warehouses of excessive marble. Are you not getting the... Oh, I think I set you for the wrong getting good. Yeah, I needed you to get pottery. Which we have plenty of, so please go and get it. And now Toga Boy gets his marble, and hopefully we never speak of marble again, because it's going off. Hopefully for good. And here comes the pottery. Kachi. Get the pottery, get Toga Boy an educated slave, and I've almost got the favour that I need for Caesar. This is definitely going to get us the prosperity we need. I worry a little bit about feeding all these people, but it's a future problem. Small insulae have uh, prosperity factor 50, which is a whole lot more than we get out of the small casa. It's not unthinkable to bring them up even further. I really don't want to give them doctors, though, because our health is pretty, uh, pretty low, and I want to keep it pretty low. Health is very good, yeah, and I don't want to get it much better. Um, I'll actually purge you and throw a hospital over here. There we go. Then we get ourselves some beloved light insulae. I know it's small insulae, but light insulae makes me think of Draken. I'm always happier when I think of Draken. Precious few exceptions. Sure, There are no problems, good. And with that, the prosperity goal is easily attained. And as long as we don't get shanked next year by a surprise giant attack. 
we should be good as, as soon as Caesar gives us demands enough for us to uh, to get his favor up to 95. Why is good health bad? Good question, Yibo. If your health is too good, then people don't die. That's not really relevant for this map, but here's the consensus. Uh, the census, rather. So anybody aged 0 to 20 don't work. Everybody aged 20 to 50 are your labor pool. Everybody older than 50 does not work. So you're only workers between 20 and 50. Knowing this, you want everybody, the moment they hit 50, to die as quickly as possible so that that leaves space for new births. And then in 20 years, those new births will enter the labor pool. If your health is too good, then people who reach 50 and retire live a long, long life. Eating your food, taking up your space, admittedly paying taxes, but people that work also pay taxes, so I'd rather have as many people between 20 and 50 as possible. So that is why you actually want some crummy health. I'm surprised at how you're having such trouble getting uh, furniture. Ah, that's probably because you're set to getting goods. You won't get from a getting warehouse. There we go, I'll solve that problem. Knew there was something wrong there. I also knew how to fix it. I'll show off some... Um, some census graphs later on. Okay, good. I am still making a profit. Oh god, don't tell me prosperity didn't raise, uh, rise there. Last year your city lost money. Oh, okay, well, that's fine. We will gain money. So I hope we could always raise taxes if the uh, need, need arises for it. Oh, crumbs, right, yes, the attacks. I really don't know why this map has attacks. If your attacks don't add anything to the map, just don't have them. There, there's nothing wrong with not having something in a map. You don't need to have every food type, every trade type, every type of building available. You don't always need to have an earthquake or always have um, always have fights, even always have military. Or always have land trade disruption. I mean, why? Sometimes less is more. But if less is more, just imagine how much more more would be. And Anonfin disagrees and says always have earthquakes. The earthquake here was very well used, eliminating a trade option. And admittedly, we would have died without that trade option. We needed to trade oil to the natives in order to survive the initial onslaught. And there we go. We have just barely hit the prosperity requirements. Now we need to, now we need to get Caesar up and happy. And that is very difficult right now because our wages don't allow him to give frequent gifts. Or they don't allow us to give him frequent gifts. But as long as I can get my favor up to 80, I can have this one and done. So I need him to demand something from me. Otherwise, I mean, there's small devolutions here and there, but I don't particularly care. Well, actually, I really should. We're right on the cusp of winning prosperity. No, the attacks don't add a need for weapon production because... Javelins and cavalry don't require uh, weapon production. Only heavy infantry require heavy we uh, require weapons. The theory was to have attacks and to force you to manage the ugliest building in a tight map. Uh, oh, you mean managing the ugly, ugly forts? Mm, okay, but the attacks are so small that there's not really anything to manage here. And the map is not that small. Maybe if the population requirement were, say, 9,000, this would be a problem. Mm, okay, maybe even 7,500 would be, would be a problem, but I haven't even used this area to its maximum extreme. Then again, you didn't allow forums. Forums would cause... Ah, finally. There we go. Caesar wants furniture, Caesar gets furniture, and we get off this map. I hope there's a good big boost of favor for that. 
I don't know why there are landslides, though. I don't see what that adds to the map at all. But then I don't generally see what trading disruption adds to a map in general. Okay, now, 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 now. It's time to beat this game. Or beat this level, at least. So, I'm not even going to wait for Caesar's next demand. What I did there was I set my, Caesar, uh, my salary to something outrageous. And I'm going to funnel all of it into giving Caesar gifts. Now, at the turn of the year, he'll be very unhappy with that. The exploit is to... Um, the exploit is to make your salary go down before the turn of the year, and then he won't actually hurt you for it. We won't do that, though, but we also won't let the end of the year come. Instead, I just pay myself that ridiculous salary, we give it to Caesar, and we win. So, DDR Jake, rat race complete. Boy, that took no time at all. No time at all. Also, Caesar, here you go. Ta-da! <laughs> You're very right, Panda. Once again, you've proven yourself to be one of Rome's finest governors. All right, let's have a quick look at that map, shall we? Right, so I do quite like this map. Um, the initial puzzle was a little bit fun to solve, but at the same time a bit like... <laughs> um, well, while you're here, Palmar, what was the intended solution to the starting problem? I suppose if you missed it, we can show the starting problem, can't we? Let's load up. Do we have Rat Race Part 1? Okay, well, this is my initial attempt, but I think we have... Oh, it was just called Rat Race, isn't it? Here we go. This is the starting simulation. Only a thousand denarii. No real resources here apart from fish. Your only trade option is to sell fish because there's no room for a dock here. And there's nothing to mine, nothing to farm, just nothing here. I just, I missed the first hour because, you know, I need to sleep. Started at 10 in the morning. Day was half done by then. Still though, what was the intended solution here? I tried to build up a tax economy, but with only a thousand starting denarii, there just was not enough. We were in the red and stayed in the red. Uh, so one thought would be to just sit back and make minute amounts of money through fishing, but I decided the better tent was to go into ultra debt and do the very expensive bridging operation over here, and then making as much oil as possible and selling it both on a land trade route and also on this trade route, trading with the natives. The start was either planned to go heavy into debt or work your way slowly into the next island with fish. I think fish was just not good enough because fish falls off very quickly in price. What was it, three years? And you reduced its profit by like 40%? It was tough, really tough. Um, and we made it here with a margin of about 40 denarii. Do I have the save? Do I have the save from just barely digging out of debt? I don't think I do. Let me see. Rat race stream two. No, we were out. We were well out of debt by this point. But this was the design when we went into the ultra debt. It was this. So 6,200 denarii in debt, two years to pay it off. But we did pay it off, and then as soon as we had that paid off, it was a pretty trivial run to the end. The best way I figured was to make your senate with the highest level housing on the first island and work it over to the next one as you could. Yeah, uh, making a senate on the first island and going for small insulae seems decent, but... There's just not enough money to get that operational fast enough. 1,000 denarii is just nothing, especially when your first trade route cost 500 denarii to open up. I'm not even sure you could do this map without debt. I mean, going for the absolute bare minimum on this? What would you have? You, you'd need a wharf. You would need a warehouse. You'd need some workers. Uh, that's not enough, though. You also need a shipyard to operate that. 
You need a an engineer's post for everything not to fall down. You need to open up the trade route, and you're already in debt. I mean, like, yeah. why does no one give me any money? Oh, boy. Debt is definitely expected, yeah. So you're on a time limit of two years to fish yourself out of debt. Anyway, fish we did. Well, I promised somebody I would talk about demographics, didn't I? Let's grab toll on taxes, shall we? So this map is eternal, because without any input, everything's going to stay rock solid. The houses won't devolve, my money will grow, the people are pretty happy with the city. Uh, all the warehouses are set up so none of them clog up with items. So even if I have mixed items, like this one takes what, olives, wine, oil and timber, um, they're underproduced, so we're able to get them all sold without clogging up the warehouses. And the most important thing to an Eternal City is this, your population census. So there's a little bit of infant mortality, usually just the first 10 years, and then it's rock solid until they hit 40, and after 40 they start dying, and after 50 they start really dying. And that's because our city health is good. Good is pretty good. It allows us to have a pretty healthy and solid and stable workforce and as soon as people retire, I want them very dead. Let's see if I have another setup with a different level of um, of health. This one is also good. I usually keep it at good. Average and very good are also fine. What's my eternal Caesarea at? Ah, it's average in Caesarea. And this one it's more pronounced. Look at all those infants that die. So that's kind of bad because if an infant dies. Then you just get yourself a newly born infant that's also zero years old, so there's there's churn here that isn't entering the labour pool whatsoever. But the nice trade-off there is that people die very quickly after hitting 40. I'd rather they died very quickly after 50, but devil's in the details here. Nobody is living beyond 75, and that gives me a very stable workforce. Did you do Eternal Edelweiss? Yes, I did. Where are you at, Edelweiss? Here we go. So we had the stream last time we did Caesar 3. I don't know what I changed between this and that stream, though. I don't think any housing blocks are new. Just everything's a bit more refined. Was this here? Maybe I added all this later on. But it's still just small casa and luxury palaces with one very tasteful medium palace next to the Senate. And that leads to maximum prosperity and a pretty huge population of 11,000. It's difficult to feed people on northern maps, but even so, uh, there's a ton of farmland. And there was a lot of land I didn't use. I don't feel the need to cram every corner of a map with stuff, but there we go. And the health level here is very good. So as we can see, it's really rock solid. There's very low infant mortality. There might not even be any infant mortality at very good health. And... It's not until about 60 years old that the people start really dropping like flies. At least a very stable labour pool to put to use. Yeah, I played a little bit of Urbeck off-stream, and I didn't think it was any good Killies, so I didn't, I didn't bring it to the stream. Uh, let's see, what time is it? It's only 12.50. Well, I was planning on doing this tomorrow, but why don't we do it today? We have got... Another map. I know we need to do the same, but look at this here. We have got da 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 da, -da. War Machine. Hmm. War Machine Mark II. A very simple assignment, so says Toga Boy. Haven't uh, haven't touched this. Haven't really looked at this. Let's take a quick look, and then just to prolong everybody's appetite, I'm going to go and grab some quick lunch and then do it proper. We'll have a quick look at it, shall we? Or machine. Wait, Mark III? What could it mean? I forget if this one came with an assignment to read. I, I didn't know Rat Race did as well. Uh, I should have checked, but I did not. Hmm. Hold that thought, I'm going to check if it has it. PC games. Uh, download. We got Rat Race. Oh my goodness, I missed the. I missed the reading for Rat Race. Ave, Governor. This special group of islands are known for their fish, and I simply can't get enough. Keep in mind that while you labor at your task, 
Prices will crumble as time goes on, it's imperative to keep moving forward. Rome's legions keep the vast majority of barbarians at bay. Some may escape our nets and seek to loot your city. Keeping a small security source, uh, force ready will undoubtedly be essential. Fear not, the roads to and from Rome are kept safe by my patrols. That was for Rat Race that we already have. And War Machine also has instructions from Caesar, but I'll get that ready for the uh, when we start this proper. I will stop for lunch. Powering through maps before going back to collect sticks. Uh, there will be more long dark, but not today. Hey Jake, I remember a few three Caesar 3 streams ago you sh showed, uh, showed an upcoming map. One of them was super tiny. Are you going to play it? Do you remember any details about this super tiny map? Because I've played a few super tiny maps. I played... Very Little Lamb. That was super tiny. Now this map was hardcore. How you're meant to fit 3,500 people on here is a mystery to most, but it has been done. Um, there's also a pocket city. Do I even have that here? Pocket city. Here we go. It looks like an easier version of the one we just looked at. I mean, this one has very generous fishing and trading stuff along the water. No, this is as small as a map gets. It does not get physically smaller than this. I think it was... Oh, I know exactly what you mean then. You mean... Pain. I have not touched this map yet because I know it's going to be miserable. Absolutely miserable. 2,500 people, practically no space to put the people let alone the services and goods that they require. Uh, I mean, this one needs some real knuckle-down theory crafting done. I think I measured that if you use just small insulae and a couple of patricians, you could fit the houses, and that left me almost no space for feeding them or giving them any uh, services. It doesn't help that the opportunity to feed people is pathetic here. Normally in a map like this you'd expect some good fishing spots. You got like two good spots here. The fishing point is on the other side of where you want to put the dock here and it's just one dock. And uh, not dock, wharf. And the trouble with spacing out your wharves is, well they need to go to a granary. Granaries are three by three, there's not really space for that and everything else. I don't know. Oh yeah, the wolves of course. Uh, Right, so you start with no money. 750 is the second smallest money I've ever started with. So before you even think about anything else, you need to get trade going. But you can't build anything here. You're going to have to bridge across. Oh, half your money is gone. But if you bridge across further, you have wolves, or wolves, or more wolves. So you're going to need to deal with them. But you have no military. You only have prefects. And I guess lions? So, yeah. This map is just painful. John made this along with a bunch of other maps, and they all have this common theme of John hating his players and giving them miserable experiences to chew through. Challenging, though. Very challenging. And just like that, it's debt o'clock. Right, but we digress. There's another map that we're looking at today, and that is War Machine.